Hello everyone, my name is Ali Tohabi and in this video I'm going to introduce you to a new version of part parametric array and as, as you may know we have released a free version of the program in, in January uh, 2013 and there you can download the plugin it's a beta version it's still under development it's, it's an unlimited program it's, it's, uh, it's a fully functional and uh, freeware so uh, feel free to download it and install it in this video i'm going to show you how to how to install the script and how to set up the user interface and in principle um, after watching a couple of these videos uh, you should be knowing the basics of the part 3 d and uh, you probably can develop your skills further so here uh, i've got the this zip file from, uh, from the download link. I'm, I'm pretty sure that uh, uh, there's no need of explaining how to download this. It's just very straightforward. And uh, we'll, we'll just show you how to install it now. Uh, obviously, the first thing is that uh, you need to extract the files from the zip file, and it, it gives out two uh, files a, a README file that uh, explains how to install the program. And a exec and an installer file that uh, uh, you just need to run it and install the, the script. So uh, I'm just going to open the uh, installer uh, as a brief explanation of what is this and uh, what's going to do in your computer. Um, it, obviously, this version is free uh, and, and there's no license, but uh, we, we kept this license agreement as. Uh, as upcoming versions are, are going to be available to um, our official users. So here you have to read the license agreement and uh, proceed to the next step. Fill your information. And, uh, the most important part of this installation is the, the path of the target folder uh, which you have to uh, point out. So here uh, I'm going to install this uh, plugin in, in 3D Max 2013. Uh, just for your information, this program uh, is designed for uh, Max 2009 and a higher version of Max. And we have used the platform of .NET which is compatible for all these versions of 3D Max. But we have tested this program only on Max 2010, 11, 12, and 13. So uh, it should work properly on all these four versions. But we also uh, think that it's going to work on 2009. So here uh, you click on the browse. Even even though there is uh, uh, this default path, it seems to be correct. Uh, please do this step uh, as I'm doing here. So you click on browse button, then you uh, navigate to uh, your max installation folder which is always uh, uh, I mean not always it's usually located under the program files Autodesk and uh, 3d max I have 3d max here 2013 unlike the older version which used to go under the script startup folder here we, we stop at this folder uh, which is the max installation folder and then we uh, click on OK. So it's going to be installed in Program Files of the 3D Max 2013. Uh, it's a small uh, plugin, as you know, it's uh, just uh, 2.19 megabyte, and it has, and it's going to be installed very quickly. So here we go. It's done, and uh, we're finished with the installation. We start Max uh, 2013. And the first thing that you have to see uh, once the 3D Max loads, you have to see the a pop-up window that shows the uh, Para 3D is uh, is initializing. So here is my Max window. Uh, well, previously I have uh, set up these uh, uh, icons, but since I'm going to install it now even if, if you have the older version of part 3 d I recommend you to remove all of these and then install them again so here I'm just going to show you how to remove these things there are two uh, para and para utilities uh, that I previously installed I'm going to uh, 
under customize user interface and from there you have the toolbars tab and you can choose these uh, toolbars and delete them from the uh, from your user interface so here we go we delete this and and that uh, now we need to uh, make a new toolbar and create the new tools uh, using this new button you can create a new toolbar I'm going to name the first toolbar as uh, para so he gives he, here it gives me an empty toolbar that I can drag my uh, tools into it basically all the commands that you need to deal with uh, they're on two uh, they're grouped under two categories uh, the first category is para 3d utilities if you have something parametric array utility just forget about that that's for the old version so one we need this one and there's another category that calls parametric array and that, that is the uh, main tools of the para 3d if you're on the toolbar you can just try these uh, tools uh, to, the, to the newly created toolbar there are a few of them that uh, you definitely need them to have uh, in the toolbars and there are some others that they're optional so I'm just going to drag these uh, for now okay now it's update array update selected array and then uh, we go for uh, select the all select all nodes in the same row so we have here we have these and this is the um, the, the tools that usually you work with and the rest you might not use them uh, hopefully so I'm going to create another toolbar this is uh, this is my basic power node, uh, toolbars I'm gonna dock it in uh, left side of the screen and here I'm going to create another uh, toolbar and we call it the power utilities and then we drag the uh, power 3d utilities from there to this toolbar you probably need to drag all of these as they are all important uh, comments All right, so I'm just going to dock this one here. Uh, if you like to have the comments in your right-click menu, here is the uh, quads, and uh, you can choose whatever you want the comments to be appear, and then uh, you can drag these from there. For, for, for example, I'm going to just make the parametric uh, para parametric array create parametric array. I'm just going to drag it under my clone uh, comment. So here I can have uh, I can have it, and this gives me the create parametric array uh, comment uh, under the uh, right bottom corner of the quad menu. When you finished, uh, you better to save your Mac Start user interface, and uh, I suggest you to close the Mac and reopen it so you make sure everything is uh, done correctly okay I'm just uh, starting up Max again okay so that's the uh, the user interface is set up properly and uh, we just need to make sure it works to do a quick test I usually create a single box and uh, I click on the par uh, create parametric array icon and it has to give me uh, the uh, create parametric array uh, window which uh, asking for the number of array count and the type of array and uh, array name this is the typical uh, array creation method for the part 3d so um, if this happens and uh, you press to create and you should see this uh, new in user interface of Para3D with, and here it gives you the Para3D array setting and uh, 
and that means the program is has been set up uh, properly and it works and you, you can you can start playing with part 3d i'm going to explain the basics of uh, part 3d and how to start and understand the the program uh, in next videos uh, so please keep watching uh, our um, tutorial section of website and if you have any question please uh, post it on forum you can interact with us we always have nine in our forum and we try to uh, answer the question as quick as possible uh, thanks for watching this video and uh, we'll see you next time